What's going on everyone? So today got a bunch of packages to open up for our big water cooling build. Um, as I've said in the other video, we may change some things and as you can see the computer's already up here. Well not computer, just computer case. Um, I think that's going to be easier when it comes to placement of reservoirs and pumps and make sure they don't have to pump all the way up to the top there. So this will be a lot closer. I might just remove that reservoir completely and put the bigger one here. But I don't know. We'll see. I still need to see how big this stuff is. So let's go ahead and open these. I already opened the first one here. So let's take a look. And this one here is just a Molex that will split to four three-pin connectors. Two are 12 volts and two are 5 volts. Just thought it was something handy to have, especially since when we eventually get the long uh, radiator and we use all these fans these have to be at five volts um, if I had like eight of these all at 12 volts here it would be obnoxious but they're pretty much uh, silent at five volts and then I can use the other two for like pumps and stuff just thought it was something handy to check out for very cheap next package all right this one here is from performance PC actually three of these are from performance PC so let's see what's in this one Alright, so we've got some UV green O-rings for our pump. That'll be like this one here. Put the green ring there, you'll see very clearly at the top of the pump. And the other one has a black top to it, so it doesn't really matter what's in there. I think there's a UV blue one in there right now, but that's what that's for. And then we actually got two of these connectors. These can connect 50 millimeter tube reservoir pieces. So, like, these ones here, and that tall one there is a 250. So you'll be able to connect two of those tubes together, and I got two of them just for the heck of it. This is one of those things that is very old, and... Oh my god, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> once they're gone, they're probably gone. So I figured I'd get two of them, even though I really only planned on using one. But I don't know. We'll see. Next package. Okay, don't really know where this one's from, so I assume it is from eBay. We've got a AeroCool turbine fan. 120 millimeter it's in like a chrome so this is what I got for the ps3 since like I said we'll be taking the radiator off of this and we don't need it so we'll probably just put just this fan in place and that should look really nice on our clear uh, chrome top piece there so pretty cool let's see we got specs here, 19 decibels, 37 CFM, nothing spectacular, but should look pretty cool. Alright, another one here from Performance PC, ooh, it's another one from their eBay clearance store. It's a Black Ice Nemesis 280 GTS radiator again a whole point uh not the whole point but part of this build is um trying to use all of the water cooling bits that i have that are very cool that are discontinued pieces um for example the copper end caps on the phobia balancer the phobia balancer to begin with um the red black ice nemesis radiator that is on the xbox one s almost dropped you um this is basically the same one except hold on one second okay so same one that's on the xbox one s it's just twice as wide so the one on the one s is just this right here so i got the 280 this case can handle that on the top or on the front so we'll kind of have matching giant radiators there look at that they just don't make this stuff anymore. You look up radiators nowadays, and they are all black. 
And yes, you could paint them, but put too much paint on these and you start to affect the performance. And of course, all the screws and hardware right here. Excuse my hand, my cat got the best of me. Cut their nails extra short. Anyway, um, here we go. Next package. Okay, before we get to the last one from Performance PC, we got one from Mod My Mods. This is another great site. Again, nothing super fancy. Everything's pretty much black, but they do have 40, 50, 60, 80 millimeter, 120, 92, 140, all the way up to 200 for radiators. Uh, they do have the DDC pumps, the pump tops and everything that I use, um, sensors, all the basic stuff you would need. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of tubing, obviously. Uh, we've got, there should be two separate reels here. This is just their Mod My Mods by the foot tubing. We've got 3 8 and 5 16 so 3 8 is what I normally use on stuff, and then the smaller tubing is like what I used on the Stealth and the Eyeball Xbox. Um, I would like to use all of the smaller tubing for the systems up on the shelves. That way the pumps don't have to pump through this bigger tubing to get up to the top ones. We'll just keep it simple. And then we got the uh, 3 8 which we'll use for like the loop inside our system here. And then, while I was shopping on their site, for, I think it was like 50% off or something, probably more. This is the smaller size tubing, the 5 16 10 feet, for 5 bucks, and it's UV red. So, got another 10 feet of UV red, which we'll probably use this one on our Xbox One S. Um, and then the clear, probably on the rest of the stuff. So, one more box. Okay, so just as I thought, uh, I'm missing one package, which was kind of the main one, but this is sort of what it was going to be. Uh, this is just a replacement tube for the giant, um, oh, copper edition. This is not what is in this box. This is just a replacement tube, so they must have just put it in this box. Um... The Alpha Cool Cape Corp Cool Plex Pro 50 is the same as the Phobia Balancer in terms of um, the end caps, the tube itself, the threading, and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool that they had a copper edition of this giant one here. Uh, I think that's uh, what my copper end caps are actually from, is from one of these, but it's the 150, not this giant one. So let's see how long this thing is. And then the one that I'm missing has, one, some UV, some clear fans that have UV LEDs for the stealth. I want to take out those colorful ones and just put all three clear with UV LEDs. And then it also has the 450 Phobia Balancer with the silver nickel end caps. And then this is just another tube for that. Okay, so they did in fact just use um, that packaging even though that's not technically what was in there, but the tube part. So look at this. That is insane. No wonder I cannot find any videos or pictures of people having this in their system. You would definitely need a giant computer case for this. Um, but yeah, look at that. This is where I was originally planning on putting these tubes here. And then... Imagine a second one of these, so it goes from here all the way here. A second one connected with one of those couplers would go all the way across there. That's pretty crazy. So anyway, um, I was going to fire this up, but I think I might have either burned out my power supply or it doesn't like where I have it plugged in. So i got to see if something's wrong with that, um, which is fine. This is one I've had literally to build the Xbox ps3 in one case and then eventually I added the Wii in there too so this has been through a heck of a lot and if it is gone then that gives me the opportunity to get one of those modular power supplies because this obviously has a lot of cables I don't need I really just use the four pin and three pin to power pumps and fans so 
anyway thank you guys for watching a lot of cool stuff going on can't wait to uh really dive into this project and yeah kind of see how it comes together it would be a lot easier to explain i'm sure it's confusing what i'm trying to do here but as we start putting stuff together it should be easier so um also coming up original xbox build letting the paint fully cure for a little while before i post it but it is an original xbox that'll have the cables controller dvd remote uh games you know grand theft auto stuff like that so yeah look forward to that like comment subscribe see you in the next video